a beautiful good morning to everyone. So, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for your wonderful prayers. It didn't snow. It's raining. Oh, I love the rain. Not, not that I don't love the snow, but the rain is awesome. Especially up here, because it doesn't rain a lot. Anyway, so thank you very much. Also, too, I'd like to thank my new subscribers and for leaving comments. I really appreciate that. It's that is awesome. And if you're new here, go ahead. Feel free to subscribe. So this morning, what has popped into my awareness? And it goes back to the attunements that I'm doing with the Divine Mastery Presence class with Sri and Kira is the fact that I've had there are two specific animals in my life that keep coming forward and my ex-roommate his was a dog uh, she was her name was onyx or is onyx and I always wanted to call her ebby girl she passed away on very suspicious things terms and was not it wasn't cool it really hurt she was my adopted baby and I got her from the only, at the time, non-kill animal shelter in Virginia. So I really hope they're still in business. She had actually gotten healthier moving out here because of the water. And I mean, seriously, her muzzle went from being 100% gray to she was, she was demonstrating rejuvenation. Okay, so <clears throat> that's happening. And now there is a cat that is in my life and I want to call her instead of her name baby girl call her Alex and this takes me all the way back to 29 palms <laughs> so I haven't completely understood why my animals from the past are here other than I know that they were my familiars okay and they show an incredible amount of consciousness and I'm very grateful to them. So I was journaling about that this morning and letting them know it's okay to rest if they want to, or they can continue on this journey with me. And it's really awesome because as I'm going through this and as I was, you know, writing out my little note and being present with the energy, it really, I got to share, there's no other way to do it except just to say it, but um, I've always had this incredible ability to be very consciously aware of animals. It's like the first time I went to the San Diego Zoo, all of a sudden this elephant, everybody's like, where's the elephant? You know, we're on this little tour bus thing and all of a sudden, I was just like, oh, well, maybe we'll catch it later. And I'm just sitting there because I've always been like, oh, I'm telepathic. I can do this. I have superhero powers before it was a thing, you know, before Marvel came out. Uh, we're talking like 2000. Shit, what am I doing? Since I was a kid. Anyway, um, all of a sudden, I was like, I'm so sorry I missed you. Maybe I'll get to see you later. The elephant coming right out. I was like, what? That's so cool. You know, I got to see this elephant. And that's not the first time. I would go to my favorite park in Virginia, Maymont Park, and I'd be walking up to the horse paddock, and the horses would be all the way at the other end, and everybody would be gathered up down there. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, I'll meet the horses, and we'll just do this. All of a sudden, here comes one off to my left side and just stops, gets my attention, like bows to me I bow back and then all of a sudden the horses just start coming down to where I'm at and they they gather there and everybody starts gathering behind me and everybody's quiet every last single person including kids who were just having the best time of their life everybody's watching me and these horses interact and I'm like that's cool you know and I was just present in the moment we all were and then when it was done I said thank you and then it's like we all dispersed 
So the different things in our life are really meant to wake us up, folks. And for me, and it's it's the animals, it's it's all of my plants. I mean, look. I don't know I'm sharing. I can't believe I'm actually sharing. I mean, my plants put off a low harmonic vibration, and I can I sense those. I pick up on that, and they let me know when I haven't watered them enough. So I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, honey, especially with it have been warm lately, up until now. In two days, we went from 80 something degrees weather to almost freezing snow weather. Anyway, hope you guys are having a really good day. I hope that you take notice of what's around you and waking you up and helping you become you. And with that, have a great one. And may the force be with you. Bye.